Seventeen years ago, 60 Minutes first examined the so-called French paradox, which suggested that the French, despite a high-fat diet and high consumption of wine, had a remarkably low incidence of heart disease compared with Americans. Most researchers agreed that there was something in the wine that offered protection. And a few years later, even the highly cautious federal dietary guidelines say that moderate consumption of red wine can be beneficial. Now, scientists across the country have identified a substance in red wine called resveratrol that they believe might do more than just protect the heart, but could, in very high concentrations, significantly extend life by preventing a number of age-related illnesses. If the promise holds true, I think this has the chance to change health care. What you're suggesting is there's some kind of rejuvenation drug that turns a 70-year-old into a 35-year-old. That might be pretty hard to do. But I think if we're on a train heading one direction, we can slow down that train. I think we can slow down uh, these genes that control the aging process. What we're talking about is activating the body's natural genetic defenses against diseases. And that's very powerful if we can harness that. Resveratrol has been tested on mice and the results have been encouraging. In this test video provided by Sertris, both of the mice have been fed a high-fat diet for 12 weeks. But when placed on a treadmill, the mouse on the right ran twice as far. He was taking high concentrations of resveratrol. You have fat mice and you have fat mice with resveratrol. And the ones that are on resveratrol, they can run twice as far and they live longer, about 20% longer. Resveratrol has caught the attention of prominent scientists everywhere, including PhDs at Harvard Medical School. Dr. David Sinclair of Harvard Medical School recently published his discovery that resveratrol allowed mice to live 30% longer, prevented them from becoming overweight, improved their motor function, and also protected them from diabetes. This study was so groundbreaking that it was published in Nature, the world's most respected leading scientific journal. Resveratrol is turning out to be one of the most revolutionary breakthroughs in modern science. In addition to Dr. Sinclair's findings, resveratrol has also been demonstrated to help prevent the risk of heart disease and stroke, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, certain types of cancer, and has also been shown to increase exercise endurance. Writes David Stipp in Fortune magazine, you'd have to go back to the advent of antibiotics to find such a broad therapeutic potential. Resveratrol is found in the skin of red grapes and can most commonly be found in red wine. One glass of red wine contains a mere half milligram of resveratrol. Recently we heard another story about a lady who had breast cancer and she was going in to have <clears throat> her breast removed and, and uh, she got on the juice and she was taking four to six ounces a day while she was waiting for her surgery to come up. And they brought her in for the surgery and they did an MRI and they said, we can't find the breast cancer and we're not taking a healthy breast so we're sending you home. And Greg was telling me the story, Greg Fowler, and he said, how does that make you feel? And I said, I feel great. I feel so happy for her. He said, no, Kevin, how does it make you feel knowing that your decision rippled out into her life and has changed her life forever? That's, that's pretty cool.
just two uh, weeks ago, and at the time I couldn't move my uh, right hand, I couldn't bend my fingers, and now I can uh, bend my fingers clear down, mm -hmm. and I can wiggle them around real good. And uh, How was your hand before you started taking oh, juice? It was like that. I couldn't straighten it at all. I couldn't wiggle them. I couldn't mm -hmm. straighten it down. And then after how many days did you start noticing a difference with your hand? About four days. And then after four days, what did you get to start doing? I got to start closing my hand, and I got a Let's tingling see. in it that I never had before. Mm -hmm. So can you show the camera how you're moving your hand and how, there you go, how can you move your fingers? And you couldn't do that before you started taking no, juice? very little. I could move my fingers, but now I can, I've got my fingers, you see, where I've got them almost closing. Mm -hmm. And that's after about two weeks of juice, huh? About two weeks. What else have you noticed that juice has helped you with? And I used to always get bladder infections, and I started a bladder infection just before, just after I started the uh, juice. And uh, I took the juice for about, oh, two or three days, and I haven't had no bladder infection. I haven't had no problems at all. That's wonderful. And have you noticed, like, how are you doing with pain? And doing good with pain too, because like my neck had a pain. I used to always get a pain in my neck, that was real bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't have that. I've had it once since I've been taking the juice. Before I'd have it three and four times a day. Wow. So how's your overall energy level? Good. Good. You noticed an improvement with that then? Yes, I used to stay in bed until twelve one o'clock, and now I'm up at six seven o'clock. Well, that's good. Are you um? So you've noticed quite a big of difference, huh? Yes. With juice. A lot. Well, thank you. And I'm going to keep taking it. Good. I'm now living with my daughter and son-in-law, and I'm doing things that I wasn't able to do before when I was in the nursing home, and I'm, I'm feeling great now. My I go exercise and go for walks in the park and we do all kinds of activities and, and uh, I'm having a great life and my son-in-law cooks for me wonderful. In seven years, I hope to have my son, who has type 1 diabetes, come back to me and say, Hey, Dad, I don't have diabetes anymore because in the last seven years, my body has repaired itself enough that my pancreas is working again. That would be the ultimate.